Hi, in this video of link, we'll cover another aspect of this query language. As here, we'll try to retrieve the data from the data set. So, as in ADA.NET, using the classes like SQL Connection, SQL Data Adapter, we can create the data set. And here, we'll see how can we start retrieving the data using the link command from the data set. So in the coming example, I have already created a data set and only we will see how to retrieve the data here. So let's have a practical implementation. So now for link to data set, I have already created a data set using the link statement and here in the page load, I have the object ds from which I will make the query in link to data set. So let's start working on that. So as always, we'll start working with where result is equal to from EMP as here inside the data set, I have put a data table of name EMP and ultimately I will get the employees type data from inside. So from EMP in DS, as we know, data set doesn't store any data directly, but it has the data tables inside. So which particular data table I'm talking about? The one with the name EMP. So tables EMP, all right, from EMP in ds.tables, this. But if I'll say uh, comparatively, the age of data set and data table is very much more than the link. That means the thing that is I enumerable thing which we are required for being there in any link query is not with the data set and data table. So we are here, we have an extension called as enumerable an extension method which will return the i enumerable implemented copy of the data which we can use for making the queries. So here what I can do I can simply say select EMP alright but whatever the data which you are getting from here will be in the form of data set itself. So if you want you can just put some alias so that it will look like a pure property kind of thing for example EMP will, table will be having the fields like EMP ID, EMP name but if you will not do in that way it will look like like means during the retrieval it will not behave as a property but as the data rows which will not be a better idea for making the link query because in link ultimately we get the properties which we can use for any further operations so what I can do here I will simply say new and then as always I will uh, just start defining the things like first is the EMP ID where I will put EMP that is the data row so this EMP is of data row type and the first column is the, either you can pass the index or the name of the column so here zeroth index which is returning you an object type of value that is this EMP is uh, the data row and ultimately when you will pass the index so it will be an object kind of value so that's why you can see this EMP ID becomes of object type so obviously ID is of integer type so what I can do I can simply just type cast that to INT so that this will become of integer type so that we can directly use or directly perform the operation of an integer. So the next thing which will retrieve is the EMP name where I want a full name. So full name will be comprised of concatenation of first name and a space and then a last name. In my table I had few nulls in the last name so if it is a null then it will make a complete value as a null. So I'll just take care of that and for that here is an expression for this which will do actually First of all, I'll concatenate the first name with the last name, but before calculating the last name, before taking the last name, I'll just make a small calculation. Like if last name is null, then I'll not return a null, rather I'll return a blank. And if it is not null, then actual last name will be returned. So first of all, this operation will take place because it's being placed inside the parenthesis. Then whichever will come out will be concatenated with the first name. Since the complete process will give you the value of object type, so here I'm converting that using convert or two string, or you can also go for dot two string at the end. But this is how I have created this 
second field. So similarly, you can retrieve as many as fields you want. Once you are done, I'll show the value in the grid view, which I have already taken here. So data source is equal to result and then grid view one dot data bind. So here you can see EMP ID, EMP name, which are the aliases. After that, you can see there are the names and the IDs available. Here, since you can see few are having only the first name and few are having the last name as null. So just because of that, we have done that ternary operation. So this is how you can start querying from the data set using a link command.